to show you the bullshit that I'm dealing with right now. <laughs> this is so annoying. It really is. Oh my god! <laughs> You know, if people knew how to drive in this country, that would be amazing. If they if they know how to do anything in this country, that would be amazing. So I discovered another song that should be on the White Boys Summer Playlist, and it's the one that I'm listening to right now. album, whatever you want to call it. And it's so much fun to do that. It's one of my favorite things to do. I come up with like different themes. Like right now, I'm currently trying to come up with a playlist for like nuclear family songs. <laughs> Put bitches in their place songs. Starting with Under My Thumb by the Rolling Stones. <laughs> but uh, yeah. There's nothing worse than like coming up with a good compilation album and then realizing last minute, man, this, this song should have been on that compilation. I just, I just hate myself so much and there's nothing I can do about it now because it's already been made. <laughs> but you know, there is such a, a huge sense of, a, such a huge sense of accomplishment whenever I would, I would come up with a, a mixtape. I used to pretend I was a DJ and then I would pretend to be other people calling in to the show. Should have known I was schizophrenic when I was seven, but <laughs> I just did all these different voices with like different accents and everything. It was a lot of fun. It was the early 90s. Everything was so much simpler back then. Everything that they've added is just taken away. Every time they add something, it subtracts something meaningful. And everybody in this stupid ass country just sucks it up and takes it because they're so stupid. That's why there's a part of me that's like, yeah, this country deserves to go down for all the degeneracy that we've just blindly accepted. I fucking hate you. I hate all these cars that are passing me right now. They're just annoying me. 
Calm down, please calm down. You know you're in the slow lane, right? You're going like 60 something. Yeah, yeah. Don't you love the shaky ass camera? Like I said, it's the Aronofsky effect. It's like we're on drugs, but we're not on drugs. He's one of the greatest directors ever for that. See, he can simulate an experience. That's what good filmmaking is about. You really understand it. You understand what the characters are going through. It's really difficult to make a movie that good. Well, that's usually not a movie, it's a film. Movies are, you know, the crap that Hollywood puts out. They make bank at the box office, but they're always terrible. I'm probably like the greatest crank you'll ever you'll ever see because I bitch about everything. And I practice what I preach, which is very rare, especially in this country. There's actually nothing more offensive than practicing what you preach. Because all the people that don't, you're calling them out, essentially. Fuck you! Fuck you! Why are you mad? You're so mad because they pass you? See, this is the kind of shit that we do. We get mad about dumb shit. It's okay. It's okay. It's like I live in America, so it's like what I should do all the time. Just get mad about stupid shit and not care about stuff that I should care about. You know, like child rape, things like that. I keep talking about that. I keep reiterating. I keep stressing that because that's something we need to be talking about. Like all this stuff with the fucking rainbow bullshit. Uh-uh. Fuck that. No, it, it's like it's pushing degeneracy on children. Fuck that. Like, I don't give a fuck about equal rights. I don't give a fuck about my rights. Take all my rights away. I don't care. That'd be a good thing, too, because they get me off this fucking road. You know, so I wouldn't, wouldn't be uh, more likely to cause an accident. <laughs> Baby on board? <laughs> Vagina on board, right? 